Hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tag. In this video, we are going to continue the WhatsApp series and we are going to work on the OTP screen. So before I will move forward, please like and share the video to your friend and also subscribe to the channel. So let's continue the video and start the coding. So in the last video, we worked on the login page and after clicking on next, we showing a pop-up. So after clicking on OK only, we will going on to the OTP screen. So let's work on the OTP screen first and let me first create a new screen inside the new screen folder called OTP screen dot dot file and inside the login screen just after the pop-up so here we are showing the pop-up so okay what we like to edit the number so this is the action this is the edit and this is the okay so inside the OK text button we have to navigate from the login screen to the OTP screen so what we have to do that we have to use the navigator dot push and uh, we have to use the material page route and in the builder method we have to provide the new route so first we have to create a new widget over here that will be a stateful widget and the name of the widget will be OTP screen and as of now we are going to return our empty scaffold and uh, let's navigate from the login screen to the OTP screen and I'm going to remove this question mark because I am not enforcing the null safety let me go on a login screen and here let me return a OTP screen okay so here we are just returning a OTP screen so if I will click on OK let me click again then we are going on OTP screen where we have the empty scaffold we just need a number of the user so what I'm going to do that we are storing the number here in a text edit controller so let me pass the text of the number and also the country code along with the number to login screen to the OTP screen so here we are calling it so in the OTP screen what I'm going to do I'm going to create two things I mean two parameter the first parameter will be the number and the second parameter will be the country code and we have to make sure to use it as a final and let's get it from the login screen to the OTP screen so I'm going to use it on a constructor like we did on another page also and let me pass it from the login screen to these countries uh, to OTP screen the first thing we are going to call is country code so let me pass the country code and uh, second thing we have to provide is number so with help of the controller okay i think it was a controller like this doc txt we will get the phone number now we are passing the phone number in the country code on otp screen let's work on the otp screen and in the otp screen the first thing for the otp field what we are going to use that we are going to use the otp text field the same thing we use inside the Firebase phone auth page to make it okay. Now let's go on a speed code mode.
we implemented the UI of the OTP screen. Now what we have to do that we have to connect this thing to either the Firebase or we have to implement a backend logic to uh, provide the OTP from the backend. If you want to connect this login page and OTP screen to the Firebase, then you can watch the my other video, the phone auth implementation on the Flutter with Firebase series. I will put the link on the description. Please have a look on it. But in this WhatsApp clone series, we are going to focus on the chat part, now the UI part till the OTP screen is completed. So what I'm going to do that I'm going to go on a main.dat file and instead of returning the landing page, I'm going to return the old login screen. Okay, so I'm going to return the old login screen. So in the old login screen, what we had, we had the option to select one of the user and after selecting one of these thing, we will land into the page of the actual chat page and there is only one thing is left that is call page. Let's work on the call page in the next video and that is the last UI video. Then we will going to work on the chat page again where we are going to implement the sending the images from one chat to another chat and also PDF and location all those things from one chat to another chat. So that will going to start after the one video. So please don't forget to like and share the video and also subscribe the channel. Please show your support and share this channel as much as you can do. Okay, so let's see on our next video.